Hello. Oh, do I look crazy? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm gonna lower this a little bit because I want to show you guys some things. First of all, where did I put them all? Hold on. Look. Oh my god, I've gotten better, right? Um, I've been practicing with blanket yarn. This pattern is by JD Plushies on Instagram. And I don't know why I've only been making these. And also, I didn't buy that many colors of yarn. So this orange is a little bright. But, like... She cute, though. I think I overstuffed it a little bit. Because it's not that, like... You know when you pick up a... She's so sorry. You know when you pick up a plushie and it's, like, soft? It's, like, kind of... I think I put too much in it. I'm, like... Anyway, I'm still practicing. But I finally got the right size eyes. And also, they're so cute. I don't know, should I have these online? I currently am gonna blah, 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 bring them to markets. But, oh my god, anyway, I just have to show you that. But, today, we are doing an unboxing, drum roll by me, because I'm the only one here. Ooh, much awaited unboxing. Um, it is by the company bps.com. Um, they have a couple different, like, affiliate websites, such as customstickers.com, sorry, correction, customsticker.com, and gs-jj.com, and they make, like, a whole plethora of products. They have, I mean, their custom stickers website just for stickers. They have enamel pins, acrylic pins, keychains, neon lights, um, custom drink wear totes and bags cats shirts um literally everything that you could think of patches lanyards even belt buckles <laughs> so they've got a lot of stuff and they've got a couple different like i think for their pins they have like enamel pins they have i don't do pins so i don't really know what the difference is but they have all the like glitter color transparent bits Whatever phosphor color means, luminous enamel, I don't know these terms, but I do know that I wanted to make stickers. So I, when they reached out to me, I immediately was like, yes, please, I want to make sticker sheets and I want to make die cut stickers. So the pricing varies, of course, for the sticker sheets, but let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, everything's packaged very nicely, very protected. Let's take a look, see through these. I'm very excited. All right, so I ordered two sets of sticker sheets and one design of die cut stickers. Heck yeah! All right, this. <laughs> This is the die cut sticker I ordered, which is a dandelion. It's a dandelion, but it's like a lion. I get it? It's a dandelion. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But let's take a look. See, I'll just like randomly grab a couple from the middle and then from the top. But they are so cute. Oh, they have like, oh, I love it when they do this. They have the little backs. Oh my gosh, don't mind that my nails on this hand are like so ratchet because I cut them because they were getting too long, but my nail girl is out of town. They have these little slips in the middle of the sticker, so it's way easier to open it and you don't have to like go like this forever trying to <laughs> get your sticker. But these are the dandelions. The quality looks really good. The colors are great. It's like super bright. Um, it's exactly what I wanted I have no complaints I'm looking for like it looks like from the front that there is like a line through here but it's just the crease from the back from where you peel the sticker backing off but I love it it looks amazing and they all look the same the consistency is great as I'm looking through all of these awesome they look really good Oh, um, for these ones, the pricing is variable as well, but they are waterproof, UV resistant, um, 
easy to remove the backing, resistant to scratches, and um, sticky. <laughs> but the pricing runs about, I think if you, it, it's cheaper the more that you order, which is kind of similar across all of the sites. You can order, let's say 100, they're about 66 cents each. Of course, it'll depend a little bit on the sizing, it can change a little bit, but for like a two by two inch, two inch by two inch size, if you order like 500, they're only 25 cents each, and then if you order 1,000, they're 17 cents each. So it's kind of like a sliding scale. Is that even what a sliding scale is? I don't know, but. I'm very excited. And let me show you the sticker sheets. If I can open it. My camera is like kind of dying, so I'm hoping that we're okay. But all the links will be in the description and probably in a pinned comment at the top there for you to take a look see. Because their website is not just one website, like it kind of all like three websites I think so customsticker.com they're all affiliate sites of BPS but if you want to take a look at any of their other products it will be linked in the description below BAM oh, BAM I'm so excited you guys we've got Taku Dog stickers with we've got Sick Taku Regular Taku we've got Sleepy Taku this is cool Taku. We've got Stinky Boy Poopy Taku. And then Photosynthesis Taku. And they're so cute. And they they come off pretty easy. I say because I've already... <laughs> this is... I already used some. I already used some. But... Um, let's see here. So I can demonstrate. I don't, I don't want to like use it this one but actually i probably will use this for my water bottle because they are waterproof but yeah there are some spots where where you try to pull it off and it's pulling like the backing not the actual sticker so then it's like oh let me try a different spot let me try a different spot and i think that happens when it's like oh here you can see here like i when i first pulled it it pulled the backing off but then on my second try it was okay one more time oh yeah same with this one so that means they're just cut like a little bit too deep but they're still very usable Duh. there we go yeah so sometimes it takes a couple tries let's try on the small one the poop the poop is very small i was a little bit concerned about it being too hard to use but oh actually that one was really good <laughs> never mind yeah, and also these are stickers too at the top. Basically, I sent them a file of what I wanted. Um, I had already outlined everything, and they just asked me to send a duplicate file with cut lines, which just means you just draw like with a thinner... If it's a digital, then you just like whatever pen on Procreate or whatever software you use around where they want you, where you want the stickers cut and then they'll cut it right there and they look good. I have no complaints. Yeah. The only thing is like some of them are a little bit pixely. That's not their fault. Like if you look at everything here, it's very clear. Um the pixely of the photos was because of me. <laughs> Like this is a very small photo that I increased the size a little bit, but I'm not too. I like. I kind of like it. Here is the April Dog one, and again, this is a sticker. I don't even know if you can see the cut lines. You kind of can if I move it like this. And this is a sticker, but we've got Sleepy April. It's called April Dog because I always call April April. Regular Queen April. We've got Dinosaur April. Alert April. Loaf Apo and of course Cool Girl Apo. And again, let's test these out. The rip up ripability of the sticker. Yeah, I keep getting the paper backing. Oh, but like I guess you just keep going. Like that's good there. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing right now, but like here I'm trying to rip the sticker off. And I'm getting like the paper backing. 
but that's okay. A second try is good. But yeah, I'm not going to try every single one, but it seems pretty consistent. I don't really mind it. Bam. It's very, like, sturdy, good quality. I like that. But yeah, for these ones, the price will vary based on what size you get. And... Yeah, I'm very excited. I don't think I, I don't know. I made these just for fun. It was like very, not last minute, but like just sudden. And I was like, oh my God, I want to do these ASAP. But they shipped out so fast. They like, we finished doing this like a week or two ago. Like, I think not even two weeks and they're already here. And I was like, holy, holy moly. That was super speedy. I was not prepared to receive these in the mail today, but here we are. I think that I may have these in my online shop. I don't know yet, so bear with me. I, I'm surprised. I did buy this, like, stand from Umomo to display stickers, and then I realized that he a little big. But I think I'll... I have four smaller stickers that I think I can put in here. But that's very exciting, and... We'll see you in the next clip. Again, all the links will be in the description below and possibly in a pinned comment. Um, thank you very much to bps.com and customsticker.com for sending me these goodies. Very excited about it. And I think I will be ordering from them again in the future because these are actually so good. These dandelions, these die cut stickers. And if I ever make like real sticker sheets that aren't just my son and my daughter, but wow. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'll see you in the next clip. Hello. I wanted to show you how I wrap a bouquet. Sorry, I know you can't see anything. Let me move stuff. But I'm wrapping like a different style of bouquet. Hold on a moment. Let me find somewhere to put you. You know what? I don't have anywhere to put you. Um, okay, this is what we're starting with. And, oh no, oh no, my cup is leaking. Oh no. Hold on. Okay, this is what I want to wrap. And here is the wrapping paper. I got it on Amazon. It's literally just called like floral wrapping paper. And I'm not that good with this paper. I am very slow and I'm just not used to it compared to craft paper which is first of all craft paper doesn't have like these special edges which don't run through the whole thing it's literally just on the very edges of the border of the paper I'm just gonna use one piece here and also using some tissue paper, like two pieces of cut tissue paper. Here we are, and some tape. Where's my tape? Right here, tape. Some people ask what kind of tape I use. It's like 3M medical tape because it's like mega strong. Um, I also use the paper tape. It's called, it's like called that, but you can just get it at Amazon or, and actually I don't know, at, at Walmart, I think I got it actually. But there's like natural creases in this paper, like down here. So I'm just going to cut kind of along those creases. And it's pretty easy because you just make one cut and then your scissors kind of glide through. And the way we're folding it is going to hide it a little bit. So I don't really worry about that tiny bit of crease or cutting super straight or anything. Because it is what it is. And then this middle piece that doesn't have border anywhere but the top, I'm going to cut that in half. Is this a tutorial? Not really. It's kind of just you watching me do it because I've learned that I'm very bad at teaching. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bouquet. I've already kind of positioned it where I want it to be. I'm going to take a little piece of string and I'm just going to tie the base of it so that it generally stays in the same composition. Ideally, I would use tape, but I've realized that if I tape it and then they want to take it out, um, the tape will pull on the yarn and it kind of messes it up sometimes. So in order to not risk that, we are not doing that. So what I'm doing is 
Putting that to the side, I've got my one piece here. And each of these side pieces, I'm going to offset them a little bit. So I'll fold it there and just crease the edge so it stays. And you know what? It's not going to stay well because it's been in that package for so long. But I'll kind of do that. Same with the other side. And I know this wrapping is like a little bit wrinkled, but it's okay. It's all going to get a little bit more wrinkled once I start actually wrapping it. But I put this piece in the back, this one with nothing on it, because it'll hide these edges on the inside of the wrap. So I kind of position that in ba -ba -ba form. And then I take my tissue paper and I open it up and I just kind of move it a little bit lower wherever, you know, eyeball it. Can you see? What? I dropped you a little bit. I got a tripod, but I'm not that good at using that. Um, and then I'll put this here. Let's do any final little touches. Of course, once I put it in, I can still move stuff because it'll inevitably move a little bit. And you can see the bottom half here, there's like no wrap, but that's okay. We'll worry about that later. <laughs> and then I take, this part is where I kind of just like YOLO it because I don't fully understand how I do it and I just kind of go with it and somehow it works out every time. But, because if you see, I'll lift this, kind of twist this outwards, same with the craft paper, pin that there with your hand, fold that outwards, pin that there with your hand. And then here's the thing, this back piece is loose right now, but I'm just kind of bringing it close enough that I can reach it with the tape in the back. See, do you see how these instructions are absolute garbage? It's because I don't fully know what I'm doing either. But then I just put the tape there and I loop it around. Ugh. And I literally just scrunch everything so that the tape can touch it. As long as the tape is like slightly touching it, we're good. It won't move, especially the tissue paper. Like if it's not really in there, it's fine. And then I'm so bad at scrunching it that like, if you can see, you cannot see. If you can see the like tape, some of it is like folded the wrong way. So like the sticky side is towards the outside because I'm bad at doing it. Ah, sorry. Okay, I pressed the space bar and then my podcast started playing. So I will literally put a second piece of tape over just to hide that. All right, it's hidden. This is so ratchet, but it works. And then I'll move these a little bit if I need to, kind of turn it a little bit more, whatever. And you're like, wow, Tina, the top, very pretty. But the bottom, let's just give you, here's the here's the progress. You're like, oh, okay, wow, that's, that's very nice. But then the bottom, it's like, what is this? Why is it like Dorito bod, you know? That's not cool. So what we're gonna do, oh my God, I cannot put the camera back. Okay, what we're gonna do is take this piece and take another piece of tissue paper. Ugh. Hide that. With this tissue paper, I fold it kind of like this. I don't know, I don't know, like offset it a little bit. And then I'll fold it one more time. You can't, you're like, like what? Okay, like this. Honestly, I eyeball it. Like, you can see, that's not even. Like, the side is thicker. Like, whatever. I just want these pointy bits, okay? And then we take another piece of tape. And I put that... Oh, no. Sorry, I keep pressing play on my podcast. Maybe I'll relocate you over here. Can you see better here? Not really. No, you can't. Um, over here? Oh, my God. It's, like, balancing on the Can you, can you stay here, please? Hello? I don't have time for this. I do, actually. I'm not doing anything today but filming this and, <laughs> and playing this. But, um, anyway. Okay. So, I literally just put this on top, and then I just scrunch it a little bit, and then put another piece of tape. Just secure that there. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna get scrunched in transport and like just once you start assembling it more. 
So then it's like this. Okay. So here, if you feel like this is too gappy for you here, up here, you can put another piece of tissue paper higher. I don't, I don't mind it. I feel like it makes the bouquet look bigger. Plus you can see all the leaves, which unappreciated. That took a lot of time too, okay? And then I take this. This is also very, I literally, okay, I make a little, whoop, kind of eyeball, so it's like two of them. Scrunch that in the middle there, and look, you're gonna be like, oh, it's gonna get so ugly, but like, it's okay. You just keep going. Trust the process. You make like a little, like a little, you know? <laughs> This is the worst instructions ever. I'm so sorry. But like, you kind of just do it <laughs> like that. And then I will put a piece of tape in the middle of this so that this scrunch stays the right scrunchiness. You can already see how this is so much harder than the craft paper. Because the craft paper is so easy. You literally just scrunch once and you're done. This is like intense. And then, you know what? Actually, I don't like that because then I can't make it go all the way around. So I'm going to do that again and hold it around the bottom. Oh, I got to stop pressing the space bar. Hold on. I got to do it again. And like, you're like, oh my God, I did it once and now the paper's all ruined. That's fine, girl. Just do it again. It's going to get scrunched anyway. We coochie. Just kind of hold it where I want it. Grab a longer piece of tape, wah, because the one piece that I ripped was not long enough. The other great thing about this tape is that it can be ripped by hand, I say as I struggle to rip it by hand, but, which makes it really fast. I like to do this on the edge of my desk so that I can do this over the edge. I don't know what I'm saying either. You also can't really see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. But I'm basically doing the same thing I just did, but like on the bouquet, like making those little thingies and like, it's not going well, but like, that's okay. You just keep going. You make the two little like frills kind of. And then once it like kind of creases enough, it'll just stay there. And here's the thing, the tape here, don't worry about it, because we're gonna put a ribbon over top, so everything is nice and beautiful and concealed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So I've taped it, I'm just gonna fix it a little bit, because it's like not cute. Is there probably a better way to do this? Yes. So, I'm pretty sure Sierra Stitches has a tutorial on wrapping bouquets, so maybe go to her channel and <laughs> check out a real tutorial. But this is what I got. Here. This is what I got. We got the purple. The purple. Wow, it's cute. And it's like very large looking because it's like so much bigger with the side, you know? And then all I'm going to do is put a little ribbon on it. Let me find a little ribbon in my ribbon closet. Oh, we've got, oh, this beautiful purple ribbon. Oops. Clean as you go, because that's important for your mental health. I made that up. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know why I said that. It's good for my mental health. I, can't, I don't want to speak for you. And then what, what I do, you see there's like this ugly, I keep saying you see, but like, you can't really see. Like this tape is like, that's not cute. I usually keep one end of the ribbon open because then I can adjust, like if I cut it right away and I need more ribbon, it's too bad, you know, like it's too late. But if I do it like this, just kind of, maybe like that much, and then I tie it. Look at that, you can't see any of that tape. If you need to, you can go around again and like tie it again to hide even more. But like, I think that's fine. Um, and then do a little bow, little bow, wow, cute, 
a little too bowy. I'm gonna pull. I like it when the ends are kind of long and the bow part is not that long. And then I'm just gonna cut the edges like a cornery bit. Ooh, that actually that's okay. Make them kind of matchy. Wow. Just tie that tight and then that's it. And then that's it. Let me hold it up and show you. That's pretty good. Ugh, I always hold it against this wall. Oh no, I'm like, okay. Hold on. <laughs> me adjusting the camera. Wow. There we go. And then I grab my phone and I take an Instagram pic. Cause that's cute, you know? That's cute. But yeah. That's it. That's how I wrap. I, I'm, that's how I wrap with these. I usually don't, oh, I usually don't use this wrapping paper because of how hard that was. <laughs> but, um, I've been asked to have this for, by some people because I do have some older ones that I posted that use this wrapping paper. And, like, I'll do it if you ask me to because it is a lot cuter. Oh, I look crazy. <laughs> it is a lot cuter than the other one, but anyway, yeah. That's, I just want to show you. I, maybe I'll do more of these because they seem to be pretty popular. Um, but yeah. Okay. Bye. But it's only these two. So. Yay. Oh, I'm making some freebies for the market. Oh, I'm watching a video. Let me pause it. Well, I just taped them together and I got these like fake leaves from Dollar Tree just because I was just gonna do this but like it's kind of sad and like it's a freebie so I don't want to put too much effort into it because I should be making other stuff but these bobble flowers are like super easy so instead of making some into pins I just do this and then I put it like this and then I take a piece of tissue paper oh my god I take a piece of a piece, a piece of tissue paper and I like literally just like Oh no. Hold on. Um. Okay, I can't do it with one hand. Let me put you down. I can't carry you all the time, okay? When are you going to learn to walk on your own? Okay. Oh no, you see how, like, messy my desk is. I take this, and then I go like this. Oh, it's because, oh, sorry, sorry. I taped this first. I taped just the flowers, but I need to tape the leaves. I'm learning as I go because I had another plan for this. And then I decided to not do it because it was going to be too much work and they're freebies and I'd rather give away a lot of freebies. They're going to be like over a certain purchase number amount. So, and then I just put it here and so on. And then I bought these bags. Flowers. They look like this. It says, you had me at hello. And it's like a little skinny plastic baggie. And it's too short for the flowers that I make. So, I'm going to take the tissue paper. I can stick it in. And I just fix any little leaves. And like, okay, you know what? That one looks kind of ratchet. You can't even see what I'm doing. And then it's like that. And then it's like that, and it's a little freebie. I don't know why I don't just move the camera instead of moving you. And it's nice and easy. They're super just hot. Instead of hot gluing it to the pen, I just hot glue it to the stick. Oh, that's such a ratchet job. But you know what? It sticks. It's strong. And it's good. So I have a bunch of these. And these are literally sticks that I cut in half from the other sticks. I got my cookies. They have white chocolate in them. They're very yummy. Anyway, so I'm making these. Hopefully I can just make all of these tonight. Okay, goodbye. Mm -hmm.